Golden crackle paste is a thick, opaque cracking material that develops deep fissure-like cracks. Crackle paste consistency allows it to be applied heavily onto a surface without sagging. Pattern size is dependent on many factors. Testing is important to assure it performs as expected, so let's review some of these factors. The largest influence on the crackle pattern is how substantially it's applied. Here we're creating a wedge from thick to thin. As the tape is removed, you can see how much has been used. After cracking, the depth and size of the cracks is directly related to the amount applied. Here we're using heavy body chromium oxide green into the crackle paste. Crackle paste is tintable, but adding more than about 10% paint by volume affects the pattern. How well you mix them together will determine the color's evenness when dry. We've applied a layer of coarse pumice gel onto a prime board and allowed it to dry overnight. Next, a generous layer of crackle paste is applied over the coarse pumice gel, taking advantage of the inherent rough texture to secure the crackle paste layer. While the crackle paste is still very wet, paint can be applied and worked into the surface. This one allows the ability to create a painting before the product cracks. If more detail is required, or you just want to isolate where the cracks develop, try using golden light molding paste in areas. Here the center is being coated with light molding paste. Next, crackle paste is applied around the light molding paste. The two products can be blended a bit to soften the transition and results in cracks only around the borders. It's important to secure the substrate before applying crackle paste. On this black gessoed prime canvas, a generous amount of crackle paste is applied. As you can see, the canvas is warped and the crackle pattern is poor. Using a rigid support like this one will give the best results. Applying a coat of medium or gel will increase the adhesion of crackle paste. Allow this layer to dry before applying the crackle paste. Sealing the surface of crackle paste is useful for many reasons. It seals the absorbent surface and also penetrates into the crackle paste, making it more durable. Here we're using GAC 500 to seal the surface. But many products, such as acrylic glazing liquid or diluted soft gel, may also be used. When dry, the crackle pattern will still be there, making it easier to highlight the pattern with a glaze of color. Here we are brushing out a layer of golden ivory black glaze, and then wiping it off immediately.